Hello and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Hardcore. Today we need to find more magazines so that I can make a higher level club because this one is not going to last me very long. Now obviously the trader is kind of of no use to me because I'm not allowed to do quests for this challenge. So we need to go out and find more places that I can loot for books. Mostly going to be houses I would imagine. I also need to find uh, a couple of forge ahead books because that will let me make a workbench which will then allow me to make a bicycle because of course I can't just take the quest reward bicycle because I'm not allowed to do quests. So that's going to be a pretty big priority because this running shit is for plebs. I think I need two more forge heads. Shouldn't be too hard. Shouldn't. Oh we got a zombie over here. There might be a cement mixer over at this under construction house, which is a guaranteed... Oh, I don't know where they're coming from. Hey, Arlene. Uh-oh, missed. As I was saying, the cement mixer is a guaranteed forge head on standard loot settings, at least. Ah, there's one. There's one. We need one more. And then I can get on a workbench, which will be very helpful. I don't think there's another cement mixer in there. There's not usually POIs with multiple. Let me go ahead and eat a bandage since I got punched in the mouth by Arlene. Yeah, let's check this uh, orange house over here. Oh, hey, double bird's nest. And feathers, nice. Have I checked this mailbox yet? Yeah, I haven't. Paper. Well, that's unfortunate. I can definitely do this house though, but there might be a dog, but a dog isn't the end of the world, so... Hello there. I'm outside. There we go. Bootcase here with wiring and tools. Cool. Okay, give me that toilet water. Oh, just paper, okay. Bandage and some iron. Ammo pile. Some 762 and bullet tips and a beer. I can actually use that 762, so let me put it in here. I can't remember. Sometimes I think the dog is in here. And that would be kind of shitty. Oh, hello. Okay, I think it's in that room then. Oh, there's a wandering horde. I have to deal with a wandering horde first. Because if I shoot the dog, they're going to hear that, which would be a problem. Because a wandering horde will straight up just kill me right now, so I need to get a little bit of stone. Here's one stone, that's something. Oh, I had 40 on me, well that was dumb. <laughs> so I heard them running around. Let's try and further send them in that direction. Oh, no, they're going the complete opposite direction actually. Just throw a bunch of rocks in that direction and hope for the best. Go, oh, leave me alone. Okay, I'm probably safe, but I should just remember that they're there. And that I might need to make an emergency exit from that building and start running. Now, it might be smarter with that in mind to actually break into this POI from the side. So that if I do alert the wandering horde, I can run away easier. There's a dog. I need a bit more. Yeah, let's see. Can we see his head? And hopefully he doesn't just run right through that. Ooh. Come to the other door. That is annoying. Oh, hey there. I hear people moving and I don't trust that it's not the Wandering Horde, so I'm going to sneak away up onto here. And I'll crouch and try and kill this one straggler I seem to have attracted. Was a random nurse. Oh, she's definitely seen me then. Okay. Anyone else hiding in here? No. This loot is mine. A bone knife, which is worse than mine. Okay, so that was pretty shitty. <laughs> There's a passing gas container here, though. That could give us a forge ahead if I'm lucky. It did not. Still, I'll need a wheel anyway. So let's continue in this direction. Here's someone wandering around over there, but I don't know if it's a biker, so I do have to be careful. Some painkillers, nice. A new batch of houses here, which means mailboxes. Some vitamins. Which, yeah, people have reminded me, and the reason I forgot about this is because it wasn't the case originally in Alpha 21, but people have reminded me that you can use this to just disease resist and drink all the water you need. The reason... I forget that's a thing, is because in Alpha 21, when it first came out, you would still take damage from drinking murky water if you used vitamins, but I think they patched that. But my brain is not going to remember that as easily. Mailbox here. Sharp sticks. Ooh, another mailbox over here as well. Uh, bow hunters. I mean, it's okay. And some plant fiber, I think. 10% more damage is 10% more damage. Uh, I could loot this house. It might have some books in it. I don't know. Just need to watch out for guard dogs, I think. 
There's someone on the other side of this fence. Ah, hello. Right. Any guard dogs. So let me let me double check my vitamin thing here. So that should protect me, but will I take any damage? Let's see. Yep, you still take damage. So I was so I was gaslit. Yep, they gaslit me. Bloody comment section. This is why I never listen to you. <laughs> I think it might work with like murky water in a glass though. I swear they did patch that though. Maybe they unpatched it. I don't know what to believe anymore. Whatever, we can't really do that then. Because health for hydration is not really a valuable trade. I really don't trust that. Yeah, there's a guy. Oh, there's an Arlene, hello. Run in a straight line. Leather duster. I mean, nah, I'll just scrap that. Oh, well, the weather just went to shit. Let me drink this blackstrap coffee. Where is the actual... Do oh, yeah, it's a window we go through, I remember now. Some padded arms, which are exactly the same as mine, so just scrap them. Let's see if I can get any sneak attacks in here. That is just... What am I supposed to do with this game? Like, look, what is this? The mobile users think I just cut to black. There we go, brightness is now up so that people can actually bloody see. Ow. Oh good, it woke up his friend. Oh shit, there's a cop over there. We need to leave here soon. Oh, hey. Oh, I was lucky. Take hitters, I can make a club at 45 or something. I'm kind of trying to aim for a uh, baseball bat though, but hey, it's still an upgrade. Hi, business guy. Couldn't switch to my weapon fast enough. Oh, there's another guy in there. Sneaky. I think we're clear in here now. Anything actually on the roof here? Oh, bird's nest. Uh, some trash. Right, let's go get the actual loot then. Some shotgun shells. Home cooking weekly and some food. Which I will eat to get some healing. Some armor. A book I don't really need, but I can sell. A bookcase here. With big hitters, I can make a level 1 baseball bat. But a level 1 is going to be a downgrade from my level 5 wooden club. So I'll wait until at least level 3, I think. Which would require... How many? Uh, let's see, 17 to get to level 2, so like 24 to get to uh, level 3 baseball bats. God, I hate this system. Oh, there's another home cooking weekly. At least we're getting somewhere with those. Oh, there's another one. Probably another one in here. Oh, actually not. Okay, that is all. Oh, wait, there's a bag here. Pear kits, ooh. Right, let's see, I need to sort out this inventory, there's too much shit in it. I'll accept being three points over encumbered. Oh, hey, some red dye. Right, let's try and get back to my base alive, and then head out in another direction for some more exploration. Oh, I've attracted someone. Actually, I haven't. He just sounded like he was running towards me. Hello. Five into this mailbox? I haven't. Leave that. I'm gonna go a long way around so I can search all the mailboxes over here, because I don't think I've been in this part of the map yet. Uh, one of these I already know, but I'll sell it. Oh, I have been here, apparently. Okay. Well, let's just head back to my base then. Now, if I really need a Forge Ahead book, there is one in here, because it has a cement mixer in the basement at the Jericho Ranch. It's not the POI I would like to take on at the moment. It's a bit of a mean one, uh, but if I need one, it is definitely there. So, if I've not found it by, like, the end of the episode, we can go there. So I'm going to gather up a couple of things I can sell to the trader here really quickly. Just so they don't clog up all my inventories. And maybe he'll have a forge ahead or something. Hey, Joel. Now, does he have anything I need? No. Alright, back to looting then. Um, maybe I could do... Nah, I don't want to fight animals right now. Like, dogs aren't too hard to kill. But they're more trouble than they're worth. Let's see, what tier was this uh, house under construction? Might be a good way to get some working stiff tools crates. Tier 1. Okay, let's let's try it. Oh, there's a couple of zombies over there. Let me go deal with them. Hey, a skill point. Probably want to get some minor 69er because the lock damage is killing me. So that'll help a lot. Where are they hiding in here? I forget. Nobody in here, I guess. Or here. There's one guy. Pretty sure there's another one though. Yeah, hi. Ow. 
That was more hits than I'd have liked. Hey, there's a bathroom. Anything in this? Construction crates have a good chance to forge ahead boots, so if that's what this is, we could have a good shot at one. Oh. Okay, there's some other containers to check though. Some glue. Right, well, let's go down here. Where are they hiding? Oh, there's one. Here's another one. Nope, it boxes. Where are you going? Why? Ooh, hello. Right, this last area can be a bit of a bitch, so I'm gonna be careful. I'm fairly sure they're supposed to be hiding back here, which is very concerning. There's one, no, two, sorry. Was not the one I was trying to hit, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, he's a little bit confused. He might actually forget where I am if I just sneak back here. Oh yeah, the AI in this game is just absolutely outstanding. Okay, there, other guy. I think we're clear in here now, let's have a look. Oh, there's a zombie upstairs, of course there is. There always is standard armor plate there. Not incredibly helpful, but it is something. Whoa. Some medicine. Medical journal and steroids. Some shotgun shells. Let's check these crates. These are more what I'm interested in for this place. Tools digest, okay. Tools digest and handy land. And there's another one back here. Scrapping. Alright, no luck on the forge aheads, but that's okay. Anything else nearby I can loot before night comes? See a couple of zombies over there. I could use the XP. Ow. I'm gonna start carrying my bacon and eggs around so I can heal using that instead of my bandages. Oh, hello, nurse. Any more mailboxes around here? There could be. Tier U, tier 1. Hmm. Is this the one with the dog in the attic? Because I can just not go to that area. Yeah, this might be worth a shot. I know it has some bookcases near the beginning. Why did that still damage me? Urban combat makes cigars. Oh, that's so good! Oh, wait, but I need to find some testosterone. Not the most common loot item, and I don't feel like fighting a bear, but hey, it's something. Getting a cigar is always a pain in the ass, and that has definitely eased that a little bit. Just need to find a testosterone extract. It's doable, it's just not gonna happen in a random house. I'm gonna have to find the medical POI or something. Home cooking weekly, let's heal with some food here. No one's hiding in there, okay. Ah, oh, there's a door here. Secure my exit. Hi there. Alright, that's the bottom floor clear, let's... Kill the one that hides in there. Hey, Mo. Oh, hi. Forgot about you. Anything hiding in here? Um, I don't know. Let me check. <laughs> oh, I see. It just leads to the hole in the wall. Yeah, and there's nothing really there. Okay. So up here, we have to deal with a dog. Dogs aren't too bad, but I am going to have to waste ammo to deal with it in this kind of range, I think. Let's just do that. Oh, fatigue. You bitch. Uh, first aid bandage. Ah, woodcutting mod. That is actually quite helpful because percentage boosts to my block damage are always welcome. Can cure my fatigue at least. Fatigue really sucks on insane difficulty because it makes you take 10% more damage, which on... Insane difficulty is another, like, 2.5 damage that you already can't afford. That woodcutter is really helping, at least. Traps, shotguns, two tools. Okay, let me get some easy bones. We can make level 5 stone tools now, at least. That will be worth actually doing. Wasted some healing, but it's okay. I'm gonna carry my food around now. Let's loot the rest of this place. And I've still got first aid kits if I desperately need healing. But that would be avoided, ideally. <sighs> another cooking pot... It's gonna scrap that, because I can make my own now, so who really cares, you know? There might be some mailboxes I've not looted over here. Hello. Fight me. Where's the... Oh, it's in the driveway on this place, right? There's a zombie in there. Spear hunter. Ew, I'll sell it, though. Isn't there some easy loot here? There is. There's a gun crate. And a working SIF tools crate. Let's break in here and get that. Oh, this is a passing gas crate, actually. I'm blind, apparently. 
Uh, scrapping for fun. And they land in a duct tape. Well, that's not ideal, but I'll take it. Does the Judy Witch POI have a mailbox? Right, well, I'd better be careful. There's another Jericho Ranch here, so if I need another Forge Ahead, there is one here too. Uh, but let me check these two mailboxes, and then I'll head home. Handyland, a uh, knife guy and a batter up, I already know. Right, well, let's head back to my base. I move very slowly, so it's probably time to turn back. In the morning, I think we'll go to the Jericho Ranch and grab that one cement mixer and get that forge ahead. So I can make a workbench and then also make pipe bombs and a bicycle, which are both going to be very useful things for me. So I'm going to wait in here overnight and we'll head out to the... Jericho Ranch in the morning. Try and get what I need. I need another bloody storage crate. All right, it's the morning of day six. Let's get back out there. Uh, where is the Jericho Ranch? That has the cement mixer in it, which has a guaranteed forge ahead for me, which is the last one I need, I think. So this is a tier two, so I'm going to have to be careful, but hopefully it won't be too hard. Now, there's usually some zombies in this room, so let's have a look. <laughs> I woke someone else up apparently? Oh hey. Ow. You die, please. Hey, there's stuff up here. Wait. Let me eat some bacon and eggs to heal. I really need a baseball bat so I can like two shot these zombies and not get hit as much. Is there anything actually up here? Or is it just some ah, sports bag? Uh duck bill mod could be useful. Anybody down here? We already woke that one guy up. I doubt it. Chicken soup. And there's usually a bunch of snakes down here, but snakes aren't, like, faster on this difficulty, so they're not really a concern. I just have to try and not get hit by them, because they do still do the full damage that a zombie, for example, would do. Oh good, there's a zombie upstairs that I've pissed off. It's not concerning at all. Is he going to come through the big hole in the ceiling? He's trying. My shotgun's actually pretty good. I should keep some shotgun shells on me. Oh, this is gonna be a shit show, isn't it? Just a random guy decided, oh, I'm running away now. And I mean I am running. There's too many of them down there. Let's get you through here. Run away. Get them all stuck on the other stuff. The soldier's gonna be an absolute pain in the ass. Skill point, let's get some Niner 69er. Is that? Yeah, there's one. Try and trap one of them in there. Other guy, follow me. Oh, bullshit. Okay, he's dealt with. Oh, let's use my last bandage. Let another one through. Oh, these stairs are the worst. Wait, open those, and I'm going to get this soldier way away from these stairs, because he's going to be a pain in the ass otherwise. Ooh. Oh, bullshit. They stagger and hit me. I don't understand. It's not scientifically possible. so much armor. There we go. Natural size, yes. I do not feel like taking on the last room in this POI because this is a particularly infuriating tier 2 with a lot of rooms with more than the amount of zombies I can really realistically take on in close quarters right now. There's the forge ahead though and I can now make a workbench. Cool. And we've got a first aid kit for my troubles. Yeah, the end of this POI is just not worth the trouble. There is a lot of bookcases though, vehicle adventures. Electrical traps and bow hunters. I mean, we could certainly give it a try. I'll just run away if I start taking too much damage, but I've got a first aid kit as a backup plan, so I should be okay. I've got water on me as well, so I can actually use my painkillers for once. Nobody in here? Yeah, I guess they're all upstairs. Is there anything in this room? Short answer is no. Right, let me break a way out here. Worst case scenario, I get chased out of here and have to just run home. I'm gonna make my own little defensive position here. Right, let's see. There's some books here. Tools Digest, cool. If I could get, like, up to level 3 iron tools, that would be nice. Let's try and lure them gradually, rather than taking on the whole thing at once. Yeah, you. Come here. Follow me downstairs. Now we woke up another one. Oh, did we just wake up everybody? Fun. Well, come downstairs then. Fight me. I think they're a bit confused. Oi, come here. Okay, she's down. Anybody else wake up? Doesn't seem like it, right. Oh, that bit there is open as well. I didn't notice that. They could fall out above you. Let me 
Right, this. Oh, time to leave. Oh yeah, they're going for those spikes upstairs. Are they going to make it through those spikes, though? Seems like it. They're going to be heavily damaged, at least. I actually don't know if there's any more. Doesn't seem like it. Uh, let's see, level 5 pipe machine gun, very nice. A book I already know. Ammo. Another first aid kit and some more painkillers. Bookcase back here. Uh, I'll just sell both of those. Is there any actual loot up here? Doesn't seem like it. Right, let's break open these containers. Uh, vehicle adventures wiring. I'll take the tech thingy and sell it. Some cornmeal. Right, let's go back to my base. I need to start crafting a workbench. And I need to sell some of the things I've got. Why does this sign have a dash at the end of it? Over here it makes sense, it's Bob's Boars. But that's Carl's Corn Minus. What, what does that mean? Mm -mm. Alright, here we are back at base. Do I even have the shit I need to make a workbench? That is an important question. Let's see, we need forged iron. Got that. Uh, mechanical parts. 16, I need a little bit more of those, that's fine. Five duct tape, well there's glue and there's a bunch of cloth. I do think I have a couple of duct tape. Somewhere. Here's one. Let me make four duct tape. Uh, 100 nails. Sick. Okay, we can probably easily make some more nails. I'll need some iron. Hang on. Smell that into there. Um, Where'd all my wood go? Or did I use it all to defend myself? Alright, we need some wood as well. Wood, a few mechanical parts, and the nails. That should be relatively easy. There's enough wood. Let me see if there's anything made out of mechanical parts inside my house really quickly. These probably give mechanical parts, right? Oh, hey, there's loot under here. And lead. Okay. There we go. There's the mechanical parts I need. Now I just need nails. Yep, we can do that quite easily. Let's craft 94 of those. That'll take a minute and a half. I've got enough fuel. Just about. That'll do. Okay, so that's everything. Then we need to worry about the actual bicycle itself. So we'll need another mechanical part for that. I'm thirsty. One second. Uh, another mechanical part. Two wheels. Two wheels. Cool. Um, the chassis. That's another three mechanical parts. Another three duct tape. Let me craft that. Leather and springs. Leather. I don't have springs. Did I sell them all? Slightly annoying, but not the end of the world. There's two more mechanical parts I missed, apparently. Okay, yeah, I'm missing springs. And I'd also need another three leather. Uh, three duct tape, sorry. Uh, leather and more mechanical parts. Pipes and some more springs. Okay, so I just needed, the, like, six springs and a bunch of mechanical parts. Is there a uh, bed in here still? That would give me springs quite easily. Not, I think I scrapped it if it was here. Uh, where's a house? Those nails done? Yeah, they are. Cool. Right, let's start crafting the workbench. I think six minutes, jeez. Right, so the chassis, that's more springs and more mechanical parts. A car would be useful, probably. Hey, there's a shopping cart. I'm gonna repair my wrench before, because I don't want to have to cancel the workbench halfway through. There's some more mechanical parts from that shopping cart. Let's go check this house over here that I think I've cleared. Most houses have beds. Probably enough beds to give me six springs, I imagine. Please just not have a bed. That's so weird. Or maybe I already scrapped it, actually. That would make more sense. Let's go check the house across the street. I could scrap cars, but it takes like ten stamina bars worth to do that on these bloody things. Much faster to just look for a bed. Here's a bed frame. I don't know if you get springs from those. Oh, you do. Okay. At least enough to make the chassis, but I need three more to make the handlebars. And it seems like there's no more beds in there. Not to worry, there are many more houses. This place got a bed. Oh, it sure does. There's enough springs, but I'll just finish scrapping this bed. My workbench isn't done yet anyway. Cool. All right, well, while we wait for the workbench to craft, let me go back to my base and gather up a bunch of things I would like to sell to Joel today. All right, let's go see Joel. Another minute on the workbench anyway. There we go. We're up to 2,373 dupes now. Could buy a second water filter if I want, but I'd rather just save it for things I could actually use. He restocks tomorrow, so probably want to wait and see if he gets any good books. That would be a good use for my money. The workbench is done. Let's head back to my base and set the bicycle parts to craft. Not sure what I'll do in the meantime. What tier is the vet again? Two. Hmm. I'd rather not. Really, before I go fully into tier 2 POIs, <laughs> ironically, I live in a tier 2 POI, but before I really just send it and go into all of them, I'd like to have a better baseball bat. Or a baseball bat at all, for that matter. The thing is, is tier 2 houses are one of the best sources of books. Because they have a lot of bookcases. And books are what I need to make the baseball bat, but I need the baseball bat to do the tier 2s. 
I don't need a baseball bat to do tier twos, but it would be nice. But I don't think I'm going to get that luxury. The bicycle chassis and I'm assuming handlebars are fine too. Have I got everything else I need for this? Oh, I need one mechanical part. Really? One. Why you like this? Fine, there's another appliance down here. Do you give mechanical parts? I don't even know what this is. Some kind of like washing machine or dryer or something, but weird. Weird looking. Is this glass on the front? Never even really thought about this. I'm going to go with a circular oven. Anyway, I got my mechanical part, so let's go hunt down some stuff to do while we wait. Actually, the bicycle crafts quite quickly. Never mind. Sit here and do it. Craft a bicycle. And there's my bicycle. I am now much more capable of hunting down mailboxes because I can escape zombies quite quickly if I need to now. It doesn't really help me inside the POIs, but it helps me find more POIs a little bit safer. Still, I like a motorcycle. At this rate, I'm going to have it on day 60, because this game isn't very well balanced around not having quests. Or it's extremely unbalanced with quests, and it's supposed to be this slow. I could also use this bicycle to find another trader relatively quickly. Just follow main roads. Traders are two forge head books each. So if I was in dire need of, what comes next? Lockpicks, I guess. I could get that. That's so padded. Nonsense. I need to find 20 more to make cement mixers. Oh, what fun. You know, guys, I'm starting to think this game's a little bit grindy. But here's this house. Oh, three. No, thank you. I will simply die. You got a mailbox? I've been here. We have the Fates Motel here. Is there a mailbox for it? There is. Just paper. Big sad. I could probably go into the more town-ish areas of the town. If I'm careful. That Trader Jen I see, that's good, let's go talk to her. Not hello, get away from me. Is it a Trader Jen, or is it just a church with a weird wall around it? Oh no, it's Trader Jen, yeah. I think she's not too far away from Joel. It's actually very close to Joel. Let's have a look in here, there's a lot of book potential in Trader Jen's. Big hitters, nice. It's like the only one I found in two days. Despite having three points in it. In game. Heck junkie I can sell. Oh, this military chest is real. Rubbing combat landmines won't detonate. Cool. That's one thing off my mind, I guess. Pistol purse, damn it. Lockpick is useful, though. There's another grill. Some food. A jacket. Me. I'm hoping for some nerdy glasses soon. Bunch of gunpowder in there. One forge ahead and some forged iron. And another forge ahead and some concrete. Oh, that door's locked for some reason. Okay. There's some books in the back here. Pistol peak. Cool. Needle and thread. Not very good, but I'll take it. Some murky water. Back there. How do you get up there? I see loot. Or do you need parkour? Now oh, just some bones. That was not worth the trouble. Alright, Jen. What do you sell? First, buy some random shit from me, would you? Right, and what are you selling? There's some first aid bandages for 90 dukes. I'll take that. I'll also take the aloe cream, because that is just first aid bandages for me. Uh, we got two big hitters I will buy. Art of mining I won't buy, but it would be good if I could get it, but limited funds. I saw a beaker, I think. Where was it? Where, where do the beakers even live? Oh, there's some cobblestone. Yeah, it's very cheap. I'll buy that in case I need to build a base. I don't want to, but you might have to. 1500 for a beaker. Look, this is so shit, but given how beakers can be, I'm going to take the opportunity to get a beaker. There goes, like, all my money. I would be kicking myself if... In 20 days, I wanted to make a chemistry station, but I just couldn't find a beaker. So take one if you can get one. Let's read these two big hitters. Got some meds, some cobblestone, a bunch of stuff from her POI in general. Let's go put this, some of this in the bike and continue scooting around. Well, that's just a wandering horde with a biker in it. Two bikers, three bikers. Well, this whole place has to be thrown away. I'm going to be contacting my friend at the CIA and asking for several nukes to go here. They are some... Pissy bitches back there, they're still chasing me. I think I see a warehouse over there that has two Forge Ahead books in it, so that's good. There's also this place, which is a good POI, but I won't take it right now, because I don't know there's a tourist in there and I can't be fucked. Just like real life. Art of mining I already know, okay. Let's fight this one guy. So there's a mailbox over here, with a tech junkie in it. Hey, it's money at least. There's a post office here, which has a couple of mailboxes at it. Where's this guy going? Paper. There's also some books in this place. I'm just going to have to be very careful about how I go in here. 
Oh, it just had to be one of you big ones, didn't it? That's right, get stuck on that question mark. <laughs> I don't know if stuck is the right word, but you know. I would like to kill your friend first. Right, let's get my stamina back and have her get a little bit confused by stuff for a bit. Ooh, jump that, run across. Yeah, that's right, get confused by the bad ears. I'll fucking do it again. You will not learn. That's your whole thing. Being dumb as shit. There we go. And these books are now mine. Close that. Handyland, K. Okay. Tools. Sledgehammers is shit, but whatever. Tools again. Tools, handguns. Repair kit. Huh. Eh, cooking pot, good to know. Well, there's a safe in there. I'm not got any lockpicks on me. I think I have one in the bike, though. The. There's one. No, I don't need cooking pots now. I can make my own. Let's give this a shot. And we were unlucky. Okay. Any obvious books? Are there any mail containers in here? There's one of those things at the back, but it doesn't seem worth the trouble to go halfway through a tier 3 POI to get that, so let's continue. Uh, if I remember correctly, the Hogzilla Ranch actually has a mailbox. Oh, a spare wrench, nice. Sledgehammers in this economy. Flashlight. Sell that, I guess. No mailbox for that house, that's slightly annoying. There's a whole neighbourhood of houses over here that I've not looted yet. Hey, one guy. Book I already know. Forge ahead, cool. Art of Mining, the one I would have been buying from Gen, see? I made the correct choice. Art of Mining again. Compact stacks. Not as useful as it used to be, it doesn't give you XP anymore. Despite them saying it was a feature. They lied. Does the... yeah, it does. Paper. Okay, I'm gonna mark this place as decent for books, because it is. The deracinated domicile does have a few bookcases in it. I don't have time to clear it right now, but good to know about. Oh, the working stiff tools truck is probably worth looting as well. Tools digest and some cobblestone. Hello, Arlene. Give me some XP. I see a couple more potential mailboxes over here. Oh, uh, I've pissed off one guy over there. Oh, he's lost me. Okay. That's her up. Still not finished that, I'm surprised. How many more do I need? One more. The chain modification, which is the one I actually want, of course. And I feel like there is supposed to be a mailbox here, but it vanished, or I've forgotten where it actually spawns. Anyway. There is a lot of farms in this little city. That's good for me. Mailbox, hello. Those digest, I can make iron tools at quality 3, might be worth doing. Uh, I don't know, what level... Do you get level 4s and 5s at, actually? Because there is a lot more harvesting tools than there is in other things. Okay, you only need 4 more to get to level 4, and then it's probably another 4 to get to level 5. I'll just wait for that. I'm not doing much mining in the first week anyway. Spear Hunter. Ooh. More damage against mountain lions. Epic hitters. Continue. Could be a mailbox for this farm, right? Yes. Yes, some paper. Grab that. Run. Don't let me hit you. Ooh. We got big hitters in the hunter mod schematic. I'm gonna go around Mo there. There's a lot of repeated POIs in this one down. Uh, shotguns. Let me read these while I'm here as well. I'm not sure if I'll actually use the hunter mod, but why not? Does have a mailbox? It does. Have I been here though? Fireman's Almanac. Sure. I could do with extra block damage after all. That'll let me make the Fireman's Axe mod for axes. Okay, I've been here. Have I explored this entire town? I've explored outside the town. I have not been far into the city. I went through it once, and it was scary. Right, let's head back to my base. It's about to be nighttime. I don't have to worry about nighttime as much now, because I can comfortably outcycle a feral. Uh, it's still dangerous. You could easily make a mistake and end up dead, but it's better. Once I do get a baseball bat worth using, I'll be able to go into the towns properly. For Horde Night, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to stand on the roof of a building with my bicycle at the ready and a bunch of frames and then if the building gets like undercut too much and falls down I'll just run to the next one. I probably won't even try and actively fight it because it's just gonna be a waste of resources because I still don't feel like doing a base because ugh I hate base building and I'm not really gonna be able to like street hoard an insane nightmare day 7 hoard with a fucking wooden club. I'm good at the game, I'm not that good at the game. So standing on a roof Maybe some pipe bombs. Get a little bit of XP. Try and survive and run away in the morning. 
Hey, no one said you had to kill every zombie on the Horde Knight. All it does is make the next one harder anyway. Right, so I'm going to sit up here during the night. And in the morning, we will get ready for that Horde Knight and try and get some more books. Hopefully, I can get myself some iron tools and a baseball bat soon. And then I'm probably going to turn my attention towards getting a good double barrel shotgun, I think. But that'll have to wait for the next episode. Hit that subscribe button if you want to help me hit my 50k goal. And in the meantime, special thank you to my members and patrons. If you want to become one of those, there are links in the description to do so. If you enjoyed this video, why not check out another one? I would recommend the one on the top right. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.